Miss trying to figure it all out. I know y'all are wondering what you're looking at. <laughs> I am fresh off work from a shift at the factory. It has been a long week, y'all, and I think I need to de-stress. So for me, you know what that means. I want to have a little dress-up playtime. Hello, you guys. <laughs> I'm back. So I had to hop in the tub real quick and uh, cleanse my face um, because like I said, I just got off of my shift at work and um, I get pretty dirty sometimes. So, um, and then it smells in there. Like my job has its own smell. Most factories do, but my job does for sure. But anyway, so I am home. I have my true crime on TV. And, um, or as Tim says, interrogations. <laughs> so I, I hope you guys have been doing well. I've had a long week. <laughs> a long week of cold weather. Um, just trying to adjust to that. I think earlier it was like 7 degrees. So... <laughs> But yeah, I have been thinking about you all, just hoping that you all are doing well in general and have been in good spirits. So, but yeah, like I could not wait to get off, okay? I was like standing at the time clock, just waiting. <laughs> I was so ready. Um, so yeah, I think I need to de-stress a little bit and my way of de-stressing like some people like to well i like to eat <laughs> i do <laughs> but i've been trying to you know calm down with all that <laughs> so um but yeah some people like to drink or whatever <laughs> party but um yeah i think i just want to have a little dress up play time <laughs> that does it for me but so i have aubrey l actually gave me a, a a top and it's a top for more for like late spring early summer but I'm still gonna do a look with it because I think it's really cute um and then it's like I'm doing looks for all seasons because <laughs> that one is for like late spring early summer or just straight up summer it just depends on the, on the day and um the other one I think I want to do maybe two or three looks. The other one, I'm going to be doing a sweater. And it's a sweater that has the um, the shoulders cut out, the cut uh, like one of those cut out sweaters. So I think I'm going to do that. And then maybe a jumpsuit. So we'll see. <laughs> Just play it by ear. I don't like to do anything real rehearsed. So... <laughs> But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the last Get Ready With Me video. It was long. I tried the best I could to shorten it, but it was, it just ended up, even after trying to like cut some parts out, y'all, it still ended up being long. I was like, oh my goodness. And then it like took forever to upload. And I really like to have like music with my, um, I really like to have music. I just want to see if these are still charged up because I left them out with my videos. But uh, that takes me quite a while to do the music um, because I do the video first. But I'm always like, if I have these in while I'm getting ready, I'm listening to music. But it's not necessarily the music that I put with the video because I add the music after I've already done the video. So sometimes that can be a little tricky. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, I am fresh out the tub, smelling all good. <laughs> and getting ready to go ahead and get my outfits together, maybe do a quick face. Um, I did cleanse my face. I need to put some moisturizer on. I got this new moisturizer that it's okay. It's Pink Lotus. That came with my Ipsy. So, and I've been using it for several days now. So, 
I'm gonna put some of this on my face before I put my makeup on. So some light makeup. And I kind of want to do like, um, I don't know, a cross between just a blow dried look and then uh, just a natural look. My hair is natural anyway, but just like a kind of like nothing really curled for one of the looks. I'm, I mean, I'm really not sure. I say this and then when I get started, it's just whatever, <laughs> whatever feels right. So, but yeah, so let's get this party started. <laughs> So you guys, before I start my face, um, I am going to actually show you a few pieces that I want to put looks together for. Okay? Okay. So this is the top that Aubrey gave me. At first when I saw it, because she left it laying on my bed, and um, there was a little piece of paper with it and it said do you want this so I, th I think it said something like that do you want this or do you like this and um then when I talked to her again after that because you know sometimes I mean Aubrey don't see each other throughout the week because she's working or I'm working and she's like mom did you get that shirt that I left you and I was like yeah and I tried it on I was like it's so cute <laughs> so look at how big the sleeves are I know you're like what is it but when you see it on You'll see it's really cute, but I kind of want to put a look together with it. It's very sheer, but as long as, you know, you wear like, a, I mean, it's versatile. So you could put like a bralette or um, just any a cute, one of those cute triangle tops, a tube top or a tank top or something like that. You could wear it over a, like a, um, what do I want to say? Like a midi dress or mini dress or anything. So I think I'm gonna do a look with that. And then I have, this is the sweater. Is this not cute? I know it looks small, but I can actually fit it, I promise. So this is the sweater. I have not worn this sweater much at all and I've had it for at least a few years. But it is really cute. It is in great condition. And I want to do a look with that. I'm not ready to part with it yet. <laughs> I know sometimes, I know people say that if you haven't, I just, I tried this on you guys just to make sure that I could even fit this one. But, um, so I'm going to just turn it back right side in. <laughs> but, um, I was iffy about this one. <laughs> But it's been in my closet. It's actually a dress. This is the back. And y'all know, okay, so right now this is just my, what I put on when I got out of my bath. And this is something I would typically just run around the house in. But this is like a, a jumpsuit. But y'all know, I kind of got, I'm meaty. So I got some meat back there. <laughs> so this, I was kind of like, mm. so <laughs> we'll work with it work it out. As long as I'm not looking too much like a Sharpay back there, I'm good. <laughs> Maybe a baby Sharpay. <laughs> so, yeah, I have been watching some really good stuff. <laughs> yeah, mainly true crime, but I don't know. It's just so, I don't know what it is, why I'm so drawn to that. Like, I think I said this before. I think it's just crazy the things that people can do to each other, like to other people. Like, it's just nuts. Like, if I didn't see a lot of the stuff that from these true crime, like interrogations or true crime stories, I wouldn't even believe that it happened. Like, I would be like, no way. <laughs> It's just crazy. One thing that has really, really, really surprised me. Hold on, you guys. <laughs> but before I even get started, you guys, I have to, I, I, you know, I have to do this proper, okay? And I have to say, thank you, new subscribers. <laughs> I appreciate you so much. I didn't want you guys to think that I wasn't acknowledging you. Or I didn't know that you had subscribed. But um, I got the notifications either when I was at work or when I was like 
in that sleep of just getting off work and, and going to sleep. So I was like, oh my goodness, but I appreciate you so much. So that's one thing I want you guys to know is like if you are viewing vi videos or commenting or if you're a new subscriber and I don't respond right away, don't you think for one second that I won't when I can, okay? It just means that I'm probably working like a dog <laughs> or sleeping. So, which is what I pretty much do, work and sleep. <laughs> But yes, I just wanted to say thank you so much. And you know I appreciate you. <laughs> so anyway, I just had to, yeah, get that out the way. I don't know why I didn't start with that. I should have started with that. That should have been number one. <laughs> Y'all are number one to me. So that should have been number one. But um, so anyway, I have been watching some good stuff, uh, good interrogations, um, some that have just blown my mind and like I was saying I'm just so drawn to this stuff because it is just nuts the things that people will do to other people and one thing that I have really paid attention to especially over this past probably not just week this past month it's it's really become apparent how I, I didn't realize how many people kill their kids i'm like oh my goodness and i'm not talking about just you know some sort of accident that happened you know there were a couple of interrogations i saw and a couple of uh, stories that i saw where um it may have been due to like uh drunk driving like i know there was a story of a, a woman who was uh, drunk driving and killed her three boys and um you know that's that's bad enough but i'm talking about these other stories where people are like beating their kids to death and i'm not you know and some of them are little kids like you know four and five years old i'm like come on it's just crazy i'm like i did not really understand how many people kill their kids like it is just that was you know some of the stories are just just heartbreaking because the kids are so young and haven't really had a chance to even enjoy life and the little bit of life they did have was spent being tortured by the people they probably love and trusted the most it was just crazy I think I actually saved a couple of the videos that I watched to my playlist. I think there's a, one of the playlists is true crime. What is it? it, it it's, it's true crime is part of the heading. I don't know what else I added on there, but if you guys want to check it out, it is on my playlist, but yeah really sad so yeah a lot of people around the world have killed their kids and um then you have um another like i, I didn't realize how many kids kill their parents <laughs> like what I was watching this one interrogation and this young man had killed his parents and he had he didn't cry not once y'all I was like wow and I think he was only like 14 or 15 years old but he didn't cry at all and you know you would think that maybe once they get in, to the point where they're in the interrogation room and they realize that you know, they're getting ready to go to prison. That they would show some sort of emotion. He didn't show any emotion. And he was quite chipper during his whole interrogation. And I was like, you know what? I really don't... I'm conflicted when it comes to trying um, young minors as adults but I, for some reason him i was like he needs to be tried as an adult <laughs> i mean i you know i could be wrong 
but that's just how I was feeling. He was so callous and he just didn't understand. He Maybe he did understand the magnitude of what he had done, but he didn't really seem to care much. So I paused this just a second ago so I could find something that I needed and apparently I didn't get everything I needed. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. I, it actually was sitting right here. It just, it was in a spot. I couldn't really see it, but, um, so yeah, I've been watching some good stuff. I watched this one interrogation and I was like, dang, because, you know, I feel like sometimes some situations can really be, really could have been prevented. And, um, I know some things are easier said than done. I do understand that. But they had, there was this one in, um, story, and it was about this young man. I think he was 15, and um, he had, he was hanging out with his his friends, and he lived, like, in the country. His, I, I want to say... That, that's the kind of family he came from. They may be farming or, you know, they lived out in the country. And so, you know, a lot of times when, when I, I do know that when people are raised out in the country, like they, they do a lot of hunting and fishing and stuff like that at an early age. Well, this young man, he had um, already been kind of cutting up, <laughs> not doing the right thing, not making good choices. Um, and not just once, like more than once, he was just not on a good path and, um, he was getting into trouble and well, his father took him and got him a shotgun, y'all. I want to say it was a shotgun. He got him some kind of gun. But my thing is, is if you have a child that is hanging with the wrong crowd, okay, they've already shown that they can't maintain, like they can't stay in a good place and make good decisions. Um, I, I don't think it's, I just feel, and this is just my opinion, I don't think it's wise to be going and buying them any type of weapon, like a gun. I mean, I just, I don't. I don't agree with that. Because that child already has shown that they can't make good decisions. So what happened is, this young man was, uh, at first he did not, there was a shooting. And somebody, I think two people got killed. And at first he was denying he had anything to do with it. He was swerving down. He wasn't there. And he was so emphatic about what he was saying. I started to be like, well, maybe he, was, <laughs> maybe he wasn't there, you know. <laughs> but um, so to make a long story short, he had been out with his friends. He had had that gun that his father had got for him. And he was just riding around shooting out, out of his car or whatever car he was in, he was riding around shooting and uh, shot two people. One, I believe, I want to say, don't, don't quote me on this because I could just be talking crazy. Uh, one, I, he shot through the door of the residence. That he, he was just shooting at houses. And, and, and so they asked him, the interrogator asked him, um, you know, if he was trying to, shoot in the house and he said no he was trying to just shoot at the cars well that's bad enough you get people first of all y'all these days so many people use their vehicles as their home i mean you see videos all the time um van life videos people living in their cars and people like to sit in their cars, listen to their music, sit in their cars, talk to their friends. I mean, and then, like I said, people use their vehicles as their homes. So, you know, that's not uncommon. That's not unusual these days. So to even say that, oh, well, I was just riding and shooting at cars. I mean, that's even worse, you know. So 
it was just so unfortunate because he seemed like he was he was he didn't seem like a an evil kid he just seemed like he he was just a, being a kid he, you know his brain was not is not developed enough to be responsible enough to understand the the severity of this situation and to even be in a situation where he has a gun and then his father came in his father was deaf and he seemed like a very kind and caring and nurturing parent he really did and he was just trying to console his son you could tell that that his son meant very much to him and um he was trying to talk to his son but um you know his son was trying to lie to him at first but then he ended up telling the truth and what made me so upset about this y'all is because like i said his father seemed like a sweet man what made me even though he made the decision to buy the buy him the gun what made me so upset is the father ended up getting charged in this like i and i and i get it you know he shouldn't have you know purchased him a gun but i do also understand that people that live you know out in the country and on farms and stuff that's just not uncommon i see that a lot of times on tv and i've talked to a lot of people that i've known personally that have been raised that way so I just felt so bad for his father, who's probably just trying to work and provide and stuff like this. And here his son went and acted a fool. And now he's ended up, you know, ended up, he got a mug shot too. I'm like, dang. It's just one of those things, you know, you try to tell kids, you know, my daughter, you know, Aubrey's grown. So <laughs> thank goodness. <laughs> I don't have to worry about anything like that, you know, but, um, I made it. Yay. <laughs> but it's just so important. Even kids that aren't your own kids sometimes to try to mentor them and help them understand that. And even there's some adults out there, you got to help try to un try to help understand that it, it pays to just calm down for a second and think before you act. You know, I've had to tell myself that, not in regards to a gun or anything like that, but just in life it, when, when things happen and not to jump to conclusions or, or do something that I'm going to regret or something like that. So, yeah, it's really important to think before you act because now this kid is locked up and he took his father with him. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I had to fill y'all in on some true crime. <laughs> All right, as we say, interrogations. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, I get some mascara. I really need to get a new mascara. This mascara is asking for help. It is just all clumped up. It is a hot mess. The other one that I had like this, I ended up taking one and putting it in a bag so I would have one at work. And just in case I'm running late. Because mascara is the one thing that I always try to have on. But if I don't, then I'm not worried about it because, you know, I'm just at the plant. But I really do. It just opens your eyes up. And I don't wear false lashes or anything like that. It's just a personal choice. Even though I do think they look beautiful on the young ladies that wear them. And some men choose to wear them. It just depends. But I think they look beautiful on the eye. That's just not something that I want to do. So it's important for me to be able to have a good thick mascara um, so you can at least see that I have eyelashes like you can tell but you can also tell a big difference once I put my mascara on mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. 
So yeah, you guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and finish getting ready and hopefully you guys will stick around and I think I'll play a little bit of music. So you guys, I had to come back real quick because I forgot one of the best, I don't know if it's a, a really a true crime story, I guess you could call it that, I'm not really sure, but so there was a, a YouTube channel that I was unfamiliar with and I believe the name is Trappin', Trappin Anonymous, okay? And there was a story, like in the heading, it says, uh, woman 25 left for dead. I want to say throat cut left, left for dead or something like that. Throat cut and survived. Something like that. Well, she survived. And she was on there and telling her story. Y'all. <laughs> I watched this story and I had... Did I just get off work? I think I watched it like one of the mornings I had gotten off work. Because y'all know I work at night. So it was one of the mornings when I had gotten off work, I believe. And I, I still had all my work clothes on. And I just kind of sat on the um, the wooden part of my, my headboard of my bed. And not actually on my bed. And I was watching it. And I said, well, I'll watch a little bit of this and I'll just let it play while I get my bath and stuff together. And I ended up watching the whole thing. Y'all, th this story, if you guys don't listen to anything else that I have to say, if you don't watch another video of mine, watch this video, please. This story deserves to be heard. Um, so this young lady was basically left for dead like raped and and tortured and left for dead it, it's i don't want to say too much because i want you to have a chance if you haven't already you may have already heard the story this may be old news but i was blown away and it just her speaking like when I tell y'all I was sitting in here boohooing and crying like I was at a funeral okay I was like oh my goodness I was like if Aubrey comes in here she's gonna be like mom are you okay I was like tears like I could not stop and it was just it was one of those things where it made me feel like, dang, I just, I don't have a right to complain about anything. And, um, you know, it just, not only was her story amazing, but she just confirmed how strong we can really be through certain situations. Like, I mean, the strength that this young lady <laughs> has and had through that situation, it, it just, it it's mind-blowing. But I also, in some of the things that she was saying, because, you know, I've also dealt with a lot of really difficult things in my own life. So some of the things that she was saying, it made me cry so much because I know myself that I I have had... I, I've been strong through things that I, I I have no idea how, you know. So, oh my gosh, if you guys don't watch anything else of mine, please watch this and, and listen to this young lady's story. Um, it just deserves to be heard. And like I said, the channel, I believe, is Trapping Anonymous. I hadn't heard of it, but oh my goodness, I was a very touched and I just I felt her pain and I just I wanted to kind of just get in there and just give her a big old mama bear hug you know <laughs> because you know she's at the age you know she's my daughter's age just about so um but yeah I just had to tell y'all that because I that story had been on my mind and when I saw it I was like gosh why didn't I why haven't I heard anything about it and that's important too because 
I don't want to say too much again, but there was another news story that apparently happened around the time hers did, and she didn't get, there was hardly any information on her story, but the other story got a whole lot of coverage because the person was, uh, because of the person's, uh, I'll say, social status. So, but yeah, if you get a chance, check that out, okay? Let me know what you think, okay?
Thank you.